So now, after microscope, uh, now we come towards the telescope. That is, we have to magnify the objects in space. So, telescope is also having two lenses. This is an optical instrument which has two lenses. And these two lenses will be the objective lens and the eyepiece. Eyepiece is as clear, it will be known as the ocular. So, it is an optical instrument used to increase the visual angle of the distant large objects such as a star, the planets, a cliff, etc. Astronomical telescope consists of two converging lenses. Two converging means two convex lenses. That is the objective as well as the eyepiece. The one facing the object is called objective or the field lens and has large focal length and aperture. So, objective lens has large aperture, curvature is more and the focal length is also more. The distance between the two lenses is adjustable because they are fixed in a tube and the tube is movable. A telescope is used to see the distant objects. In it, object is between infinity and 2f of objective and hence the image formed by objective is real, inverted and diminished. So the size of the image will be smaller but it will be real that we can obtain it on the screen between f and 2f on the other side of the convex lens. This image is called the intermediate image that is the IM and X as object for the eyepiece and shifting the position of eyepiece is broad within it, its focus. So final image I with respect to intermediate image is erect, virtual and large. When we use the term virtual means which is not obtainable on the screen and at a distance D to infinity from the I. This in terms implies that the final image with respect to object is inverted, enlarged and at a distance D to infinity from the I. Now we come towards the magnifying power of the telescope. Now magnifying power of telescope is defined as Again, the same type of definition is there, where theta is the angle or the visual angle with instrument that is with telescope and theta naught is the visual angle without the telescope. That is visual angle for unaided eye. So magnifying power is the ratio of the visual angle with instrument divided by the visual angle for unaided eye that is theta by theta naught. These are the two symbolic representations. Now, we are finding to the left side, objective is fixed and towards the right side, eyepiece is fixed. We are finding the sizes of the two lenses. The size of objective lens is bigger as compared to eyepiece. That indicates that focal length of objective is more as compared to focal length of eyepiece. And we will find the both lenses are fixed in a tube and the length of the tube is represented by L. The objective lens is marked as field lens and the right hand side lens that is FE is marked as I lens. IM is the intermediate image and F0 is the focal length of, for objective. So what we are finding here that is the rays are coming to the objective lens from infinity. Now any line which is passing through the optical center will not be refracted. But a ray of light which is passing through the objective focal length, the moment it will just come to the lens, it will converge towards the uh, that is eyepiece lens. So it is shown there and the image is inverted form like F is the focal length of eyepiece and F naught is the focal length of objective. And theta naught and theta are the visual angles. V is the image distance and U is the object distance. We are finding that the image is inverted. So ray diagram is more important in all the optical instruments. But from the figure, 
theta naught is y over f naught and theta is equal to y over minus u e. Now, if we divide theta with theta naught, y will cancel off. So, we are finding theta over theta naught is equal to minus f naught over u e with the length of the tube. The length of the tube will be f naught plus the uh, distance of object from the eyepiece. That is, we can say that focal length of objective and adding to it the focal length of eyepiece that will give the length of the tube. Now, there are two possibilities. That is, the final image is at infinity, that is, at the far point. This situation is called the normal adjustment of the telescope, and in this situation, I is least to spring or relaxed. In this situation, as for the eyepiece, V is equal to infinity. So, we will use the length formula that is 1 over minus infinity. Finally, 1 over minus infinity will become 0. So, minus 1 over UE is equal to 1 over FE. So, from that we get the value UE equal to FE. That is the focal length of eyepiece. So, substituting this value of, uh, that is UE in equation number 1, and we have magnifying power is equal to minus focal length of objective divided by focal length of eyepiece. And the length of the tube is the sum of focal length of objective and the focal length of eyepiece. Usually, the telescope operates in this mode unless stated otherwise. In this mode, as UE is maximum for a given telescope, magnifying power is minimum while length of the tube is maximum. Now, the second situation is that if the final image is at D, that is the near point, that is 25 centimeters from the eye. In this situation, as for eyepiece, V is equal to D. V means the image distance and that is equal to least distance of distinct vision, that is 25 centimeters. 1 over minus D minus of 1 over minus UE equal to 1 over FE. So, we can write this equation as 1 over minus D, then we will write plus 1 over UE, that is equal to 1 over FE. Then from this equation, we can deduce the value of 1 over minus UE and that is found to be 1 over FE into 1 plus FE over D where FE stands for the focal length of eyepiece and D stands for least distance of distinct vision. So, substituting this value of UE in equation number 1, we have uh, that is the magnifying power and that is found to be F naught over FE into 1 plus Fe over D with L is equal to F naught plus Fe into D over Fe plus D. So, in one case, we are multiplying uh, least distance of distinct vision with the focal length of eyepiece and in the denominator, the least distance of distinct vision that is 25 centimeter that is added to focal length of eyepiece and this whole fraction is added to focal length of objective. So, length of the tube will be focal length of objective plus focal length of eyepiece. In this situation, UE is minimum. So, for a given telescope, MP, that is mag magnifying power, is maximum while the length of the tube minimum and I is most to straight because it is now again uh, uh, facing the lens. In case of telescope, if object and the final image are at infinity and total light entering the telescope leaves it parallel to its axis as shown in the figure. So, F naught by Fe will be aperture of object divided by aperture of eyepiece and the magnifying power will be F naught over Fe that is D over D. Now, we come towards certain applications of the telescope, like in the first application, 
A telescope consists of two convex lenses of focal length 16 and 2. So it is mentioned here that two convex lenses. Obviously, one is objective and other is the eyepiece. So for objective, it is 16 centimeters, and for the eyepiece, it is 2 centimeters. Uh, what is the angular magnification of the telescope for a relaxed eye? That is when it is not subjected to lens. What is the separation? between the lenses that is we are referring to what is the length of the tube if object subtends an angle of 0.5 degrees on the eye that is the visual angle is 0.5 degrees what will be the angle subtended by its image to solve this question we are referring to angular magnification which is given by function alpha over beta that is focal length of objective by focal length of eyepiece both the values are given to us. One is 16 and the other is 2. So by computing the value, we will find that magnifying power of telescope will become 8. Separation between the lenses, that is the sum of the two focal lengths. So we have added 16 and 2. So F plus F will become 18. And F over F is 8. So we will say that visual angle is 0.5 degrees. So, angle subtended by the image that is beta is equal to m and alpha is equal to 8 into 0.5 that is 4 degrees. Now, we come towards another question that is the magnifying power of telescope is found to be 9. Now, we say that f naught over f e is 9 given to us and f naught plus f e that is the length of the tube and the separation between the lenses is 20. So, what we are doing? We have two equations, that is F0 plus Fe is, is 20 and F0 over Fe is 9. What are the focal lengths of the component lenses? So, we have to form two equations and those two equations are calculated by simultaneous equation like X and Y. So, first of all, we write magnification, that is F over F, separation between the lenses, that is D, F plus F, given F over F 9, so capital F will be 9 times the focal length, equation number 1. Now we know that F plus F is 20, so for capital F we can put 9F, 9F and F will become 10F, 10F will be 20 and F will be 2. So it is mentioned that the focal length is 2. So it is in centimeters it will become that is 10 F is equal to 20 or F will be equal to 2. 9 F plus F 20, 10 F is 20. So 20 over 10 is 2. So it is 2 centimeters as I have explained earlier. And then from this, we will get the value of focal length of objective, which is found to be 18 centimeter and focal length of eyepiece is found to be 2 centimeters.